Hello, uh, still makeshift today, but it's slightly better than it was. Uh, we're going to do a quick review on <clears throat> this. Uh, pan down slightly, there we go. This is Car Robots something. These, if I say the name, I kind of give it away. So, it's a Car Robots thing and we'll we'll get to it. There again, the name will be in the title. It's like a Goldie Dragon or something like that. Which is odd, yeah. But it's a little uh, four by four y thing. I thought that had working suspension for me. I'm not sure. Don't think so. But it's a little off roady dune buggy thing, and it's quite well designed, quite well built. You know, all the same color orange, which is slightly. It's not a problem. It's just you don't see a lot. It's, you know, some uh, clear plastic for lights and. Little uh, symbol there. There you go. Nice enough thing, yeah. Black. Uh, comes with these little green bits, which I've never used before. They're like that. Never used them before, but from what I can gather, there's a, a peg and a triangle slot there. Triangle slot, as uh, well, triangle tab hole. So. Put that on there, and they might be talking just outside. Shh, nobody knows. Okay, and put that there. So that's the thing. You, you can do that. Size comparison. Legacy Wild Rider. <clears throat> yeah, I've swapped them up. Yeah, until I get dead end and break down and motor master. You know, so it's easily a good sized Voyager, possibly even a modern leader. Yeah, you know, it's definitely a good Voyager, though. So I suppose we should transform it, because it does transform. Yeah, let, let's pan this off a little bit. Okay. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Go to my PayPal, Patreon, uh, Amazon. Amazon's always a good one. Anyway, we'll stop uh, plugging things now, shall we? Right, good, okay. So I think the first thing we need to do is get these side pieces and pop it no, no, well, that's helped with the next, uh, we can get this piece and fold it all the way over the top. Okay. We get this bit, fold it up. There you go. It wants to stop at that point, but you just push it past a little bit. Get it up to there. And now it's something from Mask. No, it gets, it gets more than that, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these black pieces here. Uh, we're going to... They connect somewhere. There we go. There's a... Where do they connect? They connect somewhere. Give me a second. Oh yeah, this tab here goes into a slot there. Get that, rotate it all the way down, and let's bring that out a bit. There you go. We go to this side. We're going to get this, and that one's already popped loose, so that's always fun. Sort that out, rotate it down. You starting to get, to get an idea of what this is? Because uh, it's weird. <clears throat> a little bit more. We're going to untab that, untab that, bring it down. See here? This piece out, rotate it over. Now we can just rotate that down. That makes a little arm. The big shoulder pad. So we're going to get this bit loose. Rotate it down. Straighten that off. Okay. And this is where it gets really funky. See, if we get this piece, we can rotate it off. And these little bits here sort of grip inside this piece here. Uh, you might actually be able to see a little hole there. Go in. Into place. And then that rotates there. So literally the face is a separate piece to the rest of the head. Funky. And then there's a hinge there for even more neck action. And you end up with that. Oh, hang on. Nope, sorry. You can also extend the wings out properly. And open the mouth. So, yeah, you end up with this really, really weird and funky dragon robot thing 
And uh, yeah, see that there? That's why I thought it was suspension. That looks like it should be a slider of some sort, but I don't know why. Because as far as I'm aware, nothing actually slides on it. But it's fine, doesn't matter. Uh, it's got the little symbol on the chest there still, some green plastic, blah blah blah. Wheels, wheels. Uh, tail is very hollow, but who cares? Nice silver on the back for like the spine and stuff, you know. It's quite cool, you know. Arms will go in and out a little bit, nice, well, yeah, fold all the way back. No rotation, sadly. Uh, then there's the actual shoulder joint. Legs will just fold in back. Legs will rotate and do that. So you can do those kind of things if you want. So it's interesting there. But we also have these things, which, again, I've never used before, so let's pop this off. And triangle tab, hole, triangle slot, peg. And now he's got super power up claws for scratching and stabbing and telling people to keep their hands off his man. Or her man. Mm -hmm. Keep your hands off my man, I'll scratch your eyes out. That kind of thing. It's a very, very odd thing it's not something i think i would have picked up like if you know someone was like oh hey do you want to buy this i'll be like uh... but you might love it this might be something that really tickles you i mean the way it's designed like even the inside because like this is part outside of the car and then you fold it over like even the inside here has got detail molded into it it's really well made i can't fault it it's really well made uh get size comparison Legacy drag strip, because again, I haven't got world uh, dead end and breakdown or most master. I'm joking at this point, but you get the idea. So it's easily a Voyager. Again, touching on a leader these days, because leaders aren't that much bigger than Voyagers anymore. So yeah, it's a big fella, big, big fella. And I kind of love it, because again, all these neck joints and mouth opens, raw. I'll show you the head properly. Look at that. It's kind of lovely, but also kind of stupid. And it's that awesome balancing act that Certoys achieves. Uh, and now possibly Toy Run, if you're that inclined. Ah, Certoys. Anyway, I'm going to scarp I've got another review to record. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Ciao for now. Thank you.